I was hanging with you and then I realized I didn't think it was true. I was surprised. Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be showing you all the things I have bought for university. I haven't actually finished buying things, but I was too excited to do the haul, so there are a few things missing, but that doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so over the past week or two, I've been buying a bunch of stuff. I say me, my mum has definitely helped. I mean, actually, my mum's bought the majority of everything that's here right now. So thanks to the bank of mum, because uh, without her, I wouldn't have been able to do any of this. If I haven't already mentioned, which I can't really remember if I have, um, I'm going into first year of university in the UK in September, in just under a month I move, which is a little bit crazy. Just a bit. Anyway, so without further ado, I'm gonna try and work my way through the mountain of bags I've got here um, and show you what I've got for university. Okay, cool. So the first main thing, <laughs> it's quite big actually, a lot of this stuff is quite big. Um, this is a anti-allergy 13.5 tog duvet. It's, it's quite big. Um, it's a double because I have a double bed in my accommodation and I went for anti-allergy because I seem to just be allergic to everything. I have hay fever, I'm allergic to like dust and all that rubbish so I was like I don't want to be dealing with that when I go to university so I decided to get an anti-allergy one just to be on the safe side. Um, I got this from Dunnell Mill. Um, there are a bunch of different shops in this haul so if I forget to mention anything just comment down below if you want to know where it's from. Um, this was £24 for a double. Um, yeah, I got a duvet. <laughs> okay, so next is this box of stuff. So I've been kind of, I just scratched my neck, ow. This is the box that has kind of been like the over the past month and a half box. So I've just shoved things in that I've bought on a random food shop or whatever. Um, we've kind of just seen it and gone, oh, we need that. So, um, not all of this was bought like yesterday. I did the majority of the shopping yesterday. So the first main items in here are these. So I have a spoon with holes in, a spoon without holes in, a spatula and a potato masher. Um, these were all from Morrison's Home and I believe they're like 80p each. They weren't that expensive. Um, but obviously you need like kitchen utensils in order to cook. Also from Morrison's I got a plastic measuring jug and a tin opener. It's also a bottle opener. Next big thing in here is, oh I'm gonna drop things, an iron. So normal student accommodation would have, probably I would presume would have an iron, but obviously if you're gonna live in a flat you're gonna have like six different irons from people. So I don't know if it's much of a necessity, but it is for me because I'm having a studio flat. Um, I can go into more detail of that when I do the actual moving vlog as to why I got a studio flat, but I've got a studio flat. However, um, it comes with an ironing board, but not an iron. So I got an iron because I didn't need an ironing board. I can't remember where we got this from. Um, yeah, I'm really not sure, but I got an iron. <laughs> I got some egg cups and an egg timer because I like hard boiled eggs. So I figured I'm gonna wanna make some comfort food. <laughs> the next few bits are kind of like decorative bits for my room. Um, I got this giraffe a while ago. Um, it's kind of just been living in my room, but I got it from Primark and it was six pounds. It's like a metal ornament giraffe thing. And now I've seen my room, there are a bunch of places this could go. So I've got to kind of decide. <laughs> I also got a few bits for my birthday, which are in here. So I got these like La Florentina soaps. Um, they smell really good and they can go in my bathroom. Oh, they smell so good. For my birthday, I also got an 18th birthday mug, which can come with me to university because I have a bunch of mugs now. They're all mismatched and not a lot of them match, but that's fine. I'm okay with that. Another one to make my room smell nice, I got these as a bridesmaid's present for my brother's wedding. Um, they are some neon candles. They're incredible, they smell so nice. Mm, they're gonna make my room smell so good. I then have another mug. I have this like metal ornament heart. I got that for my birthday. I got this off my friend for my birthday. It's like um, a Polaroid picture hanger thingy. And I also have a fridge magnet of me and my mum, so that can go in my fridge. I have a giant suitcase down here, which I'm just gonna leave open on the floor 
and lift things out of so just bear with i need to open it in this suitcase is mainly like pots and cups and plates and stuff like that but i needed to use something to smooth it down and make sure it wasn't going to break when i like travel and so i've got this duvet set from my brother and my sister-in-law um this is like secondhand stuff which i was so okay with because that's the best way to get the majority of your stuff at university so um it's this like mint green it's quite Christmassy and it's brushed cotton um, bedding. I'm excited to use this in winter because it's gonna make me feel so cozy. The first thing in this suitcase is two sets of cutlery. Here they are, this is what they look like. Obviously it's only me that's gonna be at university in my room living and cooking every day, but if I was to have people over or if my like family was to come up for tea and stay the night or whatever, um, then I have an extra set and I'll probably get some more. I could probably steal some from home, to be honest. We have too much cut. Okay. Oh, these two were also from my brother and sister-in-law. And I think if I'm right, these have been passed down through many, many, many university students. <laughs> um, yeah, so these are, both oh, it's so loud. Two bowl plate kind of things. I never really know what to call these because they're plates, but they're not bowls, but they look like bowls, but they're not plates yeah anyway two dishes to which i can eat food out of <laughs> this is another one that i got for my birthday it's another set of like plates and a bowl i'm not gonna unwrap it because it's all wrapped ready to not be moved again oh these are wrapped as well but these are pretty so i'm gonna unwrap these to show you these two are also from my sister-in-law and i feel very happy that she got me these but this is a plate from anthropology Oh, it's so pretty. And then she also got me like a cereal bowl, which is in here. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's like, oh, I don't even know how to describe it. It's just very, 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 very pretty. So these two kind of go together. I'm going for the pinky vibe, as you can tell, we're matching. This next thing I got for my birthday from my friend Amelia. She got me a like jewelry tree kind of thing from Oliver Bonus. It's adorable. Also from my brother and sister-in-law, I have a bunch of mugs. So I have plenty of mugs. If you want to come for a cup of tea, then feel free. <laughs> this bag is full of stuff that my brother and sister-in-law have given me again. This stand to hang all the mugs that they gave me off of, which is handy. I also have this um, chalkboard, which we used for the wedding, hence the fact it says leave a message for the happy couple. Um, but this is going to look cute and I can put it like in my kitchen and write a shopping list or something on it. This is going to be hard to oh, God. have a toaster. <laughs> <laughs> what crumbs all over my bed they also got me a toasty maker which i am so excited for this is oh my god oh, toasties cheese and ham toasties are like my favorite thing ever in the next bag of bits and bobs from my brother and sister-in-law i have the rest of that bedding that i showed you earlier this is the duvet case i also have a very nice fluffy brown throw which will match my room very well i have another teddy like massive teddy bear throw over there which i use all the time so i am excited for winter because i'm gonna be nice and toasty and warm i also have this massive mirror um so this is gonna fit well on my desk and i can use it to do my makeup in and stuff like that it's huge like it's huge so the next things i have to show you i bought yesterday um this is like a mixture between dunnell mill wilco and ikea i think is that everywhere we went yesterday i think we did <laughs> so starting off in this bag we have a plastic mixing bowl this is from wilco um they'll come in handy i'm sure we also got a pack of like tupperware so i can make dinners and keep them for the next day and stuff like that i got a pack of three scissors for the kitchen two wooden spoons because you never know when you need a wooden spoon i got a oh i do not remember getting this my mum must have put it in it's a flannel <laughs> oh she got me two okay i got a like egg slicer for if i wanted to make like salady things i think don't really know if i use it but we'll give it a go me and my mum are big fans of mrs hinch so we topped up on some zaflora um to which i will be stealing one 
to go to uni with. The rest of the stuff that I got from Donnell Mill was some brushed cotton pillowcases, a brushed cotton sheet and then this duvet case thing. It's like waffly effect. I don't know if you wouldn't understand what that means. And I don't know if you can tell, if you can see like the texture of it, but it's gonna look cute. In Donnell Mill, I got a dustpan and brush. This was a pound. We literally looked everywhere. Things in Donnell Mill are quite expensive. So we were walking around like, oh no, we don't need to spend that much money. Like we can go and find that somewhere else cheaper. And I literally found this hanging just on a random display. Didn't have anything to do with the dustpan and brush. I checked the price and it was one pound. So I went straight in my basket. I didn't have a basket, I had a trolley, but you know, we gotta throw that vine reference in there. Then I got this little glass pot thing. I'm gonna use it as like a toothbrush holder. Um, well, that was fairly cheap, I think it was about 50p. I then have this, which is a cutlery drainer holder thingamajigger. When I went to go see my university room, I didn't measure the size of the like cutlery drawer. So I didn't know what kind of size insert to get to hold my cutlery. And seeing as though it's only me that's gonna be living there, I figured I'd just get a little stand to hold them in so that'll do when we were in wilco i also picked up a bunch of pint glasses i got four because you never know if one might smash and they're literally like my favorite glasses in the world we have loads of these at home so also from dunham mill i got myself a sugar pot i don't drink tea or coffee so they'll just stay in the cupboard but sugar is a necessity with my cereal so i got a massive sugar pot <laughs> I also got myself a lamp. I bought a bedside table from Ikea, so I needed a lamp because I haven't got one. So I got one. Just to add on to our Mrs. Hinch craze, we got these like microfiber sponges. They're the same kind of style of the ones that she uses. They're not the same color, but you know, they've got the, they're the fancy cleaning pad things that she uses. This, this comes with something else. Okay. On to Ikea. I got this like drainer, plate thing but in said draining plate goes this so you can stack your plates up and it can drain all the liquid away when you're washing up so got one of those oh i'm really not gonna be able to pack this all back up after i film this video i also got this um little like shower caddy thing it's gonna be able to keep all of my like shower products in when i'm in the shower um just so that they don't end up going all over the place and it'll just keep them all nice and compacted together. I got some pegs for like sandwich bags or crisps so that they don't like go off really quick. I can like peg them when I've opened them. I got a colander so that I can drain like vegetables and pasta and all that useful stuff. I also got two bins. I'm gonna, oh, I hope, again, I didn't take my tape measure when I went to go and see my university room, but I'm gonna hope and pray that this fits in my bathroom and then I've got one for in my actual room like under my desk This is literally the coziest thing ever. I got a bath mat. It is like a big one. It's huge um, I'm going for like the gray vibe. My room decor is quite gray anyway, like the built-in furnishings is like a gray stained oak effect um, so this Is gonna go well. I'm excited to get out of the shower and this be on my feet I also got a bunch of towels from Ikea. So I got two like hand slash head towels that are a light gray. And then I got two body towels that are a dark gray. I got a two pack of extension cables because I'm gonna need those. I have a lot of things to plug in. I got a like utensil pot thing to sit on my kitchen side so I can put all them spoons and potato masher and spatula and all that jazz in there. Because I'm gonna be cooking and I have quite a small kitchenette in my room, um, I have like a two hob, two ring hob, that's the one. Um, so just so I don't like burn the sides or anything, I got these, you stopped recording, we're back. I got these three like heat, you put the pot on it and it stops it from burning the side of the kitchen. I don't know what they're called, but I got three of those. I got two packs of 10 hangers because I'm gonna be hanging stuff up. Cheese grater because I flipping love cheese and I needed one. So cheese grater. I also got one of these things for when I'm washing up and I got a pizza cutter that doesn't roll because it's got a protector on it. Come on, Lauren, figure that out. It's very rattly. I also got two chopping boards. Well, it's a pack of two. There's like a, a bluey green one and a gray one. Um, chopping boards because I'm gonna need those. 
for when I'm cooking. And then the best part of the whole IKEA haul is obviously the plants because you cannot go to IKEA and not buy any plants. These are two hanging plants. I have another one behind me up there so I've got three technically and I already know where they're gonna go. I got these pots for them as well so they have like white pot and it makes it look pretty. Okay, so these are the last three things that I bought yesterday. I got a wash basket, which I can't really fit in frame. Um, but yeah, just a wash basket so I can put my clothes in it. I also got a bedside table. Again, I shall put pictures on the screen of what this is meant to look like when it's built, but obviously I'm not gonna build it until I get there. So um, it's gonna live in a box for a month, but I'm excited because it's pretty. And then obviously, as you can see behind me, I got a clothes area so that I can dry my clothes and stand them up and stuff like that but pretty basic it's quite large so so obviously there are things like frying pans and knives and like cooking pots that I haven't quite got off my list yet but I was too excited so I just decided to film the haul anyway um so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did feel free to give it a thumbs up if you have any questions or anything, <laughs> feel free to comment them down below. If you're new here and I've never come across my channel before or seen my face, feel free to subscribe. We're very close to 3K and it gets me a little bit excited. So if you want to hit that subscribe button, then please do. Um, yeah, I will see you guys very soon with a new video. Prepare for all the university content because boy, am I excited. Um, sorry, I've not been uploading. It's been a bit of a hectic month. I've been on holiday and all sorts has happened and I'm just kind of trying to enjoy my summer before I dive into doing a university degree. So I hope you guys enjoyed. So yeah, um, I'll see you guys very soon with a new video. Thanks a bunch and my voice is going but goodbye. <laughs>